What time's your show tonight? Jim Cren, Randy Bauman. It's the DVE morning show Except this weekend. You can see him appearing with John Heffron at the Improv, but tonight he'll be at the Hampton Fire Hall, and uh, he is a uh, frequent contributor to the show. It's Buzz Notley. What's going on, man? How are you? Good to be back at uh, the top of the mountain here. Uh, they, but Buzz is a big show. Hampton Fire Hall in Allison Park. What time's that show? Yeah, the show starts at 8 o'clock, and it's uh, 7 o'clock, doors open, so you get your swerve on. Get I swear, on and, and it's for Legacy Dance. So actually, a friend of yours put it all together, oh, but yeah. it uh, benefits a dance. You know, suburban things. We do soccer and dance. That's all we do. We can't fit one more activity into our given day. And that's it. You're into the soccer now. Huh? You have to be, right? Uh, dance and stuff. I'm a soccer coach. I actually got barred from my league for life because I screwed up the snack schedule so bad. <laughs> yeah. I actually had the audacity to give someone two full-blown snacks and someone else a snack. And a, an orange, and they're yeah. just all over me. They're yeah. tracking me, they're stalking me at football games. I can't believe he's walking the face of the earth. He should be put away forever. <laughs> <laughs> he's screwing up suburbia. So the parents get mad. They get mad. Oh, they get mad. The and then, then I was actually in charge of putting together the concession uh -huh. schedule. And I think that's how Einstein came up with the theory of relativity. He was working on the concession schedule and yeah. stumbled upon it. <laughs> is it that complex? Oh, it's, it's very it complex. Is, really? People call where's the snack schedule? <laughs> Where's the snack schedule? I need to know seven months in advance. I hate suburbia. I got to be honest. I'm stuck. Yeah. I, I miss the hoods. I grew up in Brooklyn where it was like everybody knew when a relationship was bad. The neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. you knew. You heard I people fighting for years. You're like, I thought yeah. she would have killed him years ago. <laughs> <laughs> in the suburbs, it's always a surprise. Yeah. You know? yeah. And nobody yeah. touches in the suburbs. You ever notice that? You live in Brooklyn. Everybody's like, hey, man, how you doing? You yeah, survived, punch in and, you survived yeah. it another day. You, know? yeah, you go to the yeah. suburbs, it's just ludicrous. They're like, hey, Tad, how's a 401k maturing? I shake your hand, but I just sanitize it with antibacterial soap. <laughs> well, now you don't, you don't take things serious now. See, now you're you're aging. Uh, you know, 43 years old, you start to put life in perspective. I think a little bit in your 40s. You don't yeah, worry I mean, about things as much. You know, you just turn 43. So I you worry, care. Jim. Yeah, I still, still worry. worry yeah, yeah. I, I'm a grandfather at 43. Uh, just, how are you a grandfather at 43? Just not ready to be a grandfather. Just don't picture grandparents still paying off their student loan. <laughs> I wish that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I only have eight credits too, for my UP. I went to UP for the party. I think I took party 101, 102. Right? I wish that I, was a joke. <laughs> I wish. I just signed up. I didn't pay it for like 18 years. And, but I'm an optimist, right? And they always call and make ludicrous yeah. demands. We need eight grand by Thursday. Yeah. I'm like, I have $12. I'm getting pizza. Uh, <laughs> you'll get nothing. I, you tell them. So now, did you get, as a grandpappy, now, uh, are you driving a, a granddad vehicle? Have you gone uh, minibus suburbia uh, or what, mini, minivan? Minivan, yeah, I think uh, the next, they host the next Survivor, they should host it in my minivan. Yeah. <laughs> You're hungry, suck the seats of my couch or whatever, the back seat. <laughs> oh, there's that much crud back oh, there. Did you ever look? And then, I'd rather try to overthrow the government of Uzbekistan and move a car seat from one car to the other. <laughs> did you yeah, ever, I hate car the, seats because your kids, oh, like, they stuff this. stuff in a thing and you're okay. trying to get the little... I don't even know what it's called. Leave her in. Yeah. Dad, I thought it was a piggy bank and there's a penny in there. Uh, yeah. And now you have carpal tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, turning 43 and all, you're starting to work out more because you always get the lecture on your heart when you turn 40. You say, hey, you got to watch the heart. Uh, uh, you didn't into dieting and all that Yeah, stuff? I'm reading everything on a diet. You really? know, you can't eat anything anymore. I read no. that Teflon causes cancer. Did you know that? <laughs> Yeah. They tell me it's after 43 real. years of using yeah. Teflon. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Uh, you know, but the good news is the tumors slide right off. <laughs> <laughs> I have cancer. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> and now Alzheimer's disease, you can get that from uh, using aluminum-based deodorant. Yeah. You know that? No, if you don't use deodorant, people will never forget who you are. <laughs> so that's the opposite. Of <laughs> well, I remember that guy. Yes. <laughs> So of, I'm, I'm trying to remember. I'm losing my memory. I guess that's the big thing. Because yeah. I grew up like I love DV classic rock, right? I grew up with DV. I grew up with Leonard Skinner, Van sure. Halen. Yeah. You know. Now they have new bands that I like. Do you like the new bands? Some of them. Some. You know, I like them, but I can't remember their names. So now that I'm 43, I have to <laughs> sit there and try to make up a story so I remember band names. Yeah. So I did that. You did. Yep. Yeah. The other day I met this girl, her name was Fergie. She was a red hot chili pepper, if you know what I'm saying. I wanted to take her home making my Dixie chick, but at first I thought she was an ice cube because she had a baby face, and I thought she'd look at me like I was an old dirty bastard. In my mind I'm thinking, there's no way this girl will ever puff daddy. <laughs> but she was genuine, man. She wasn't one of those goo-goo dolls. And before you know it, she's giving me TLC and our bodies were hotter than 98 degrees, and there was no doubt we were in sync. I made it my creed that she was my destiny's child, and I was going to be her big punisher. Before I could blink, 182, we're all naughty by nature back at her oasis on Cy Cypress Hill, ready to go live at an orgy. 
There I was, staring at bare naked ladies, bush, and hole. <laughs> <laughs> they even had Alice in Chains and she had an eagle eye cherry. What a savage garden. There's no way I'm missing this Pearl Jam. <laughs> we all practice safe sex because we don't want to have any offspring or any pissed off fathers doing any smash mouth. You'd think by now I'd have a nine inch nail, but when I looked out at my notorious B.I.G., it was a limp biscuit. <laughs> it looked more like a Q-tip. I didn't know what was making my fat boy slim. I thought maybe I was too lit. I tried everything. Corn, cranberries, county crows, vitamin C. I even tried to bust the rhymes. I can't believe this. In five minutes I went from being a cherry popping daddy to being a wallflower. But it was a good day for Snoop Doggy Dog because he got the finger 11 despite some tenacious D. <laughs> I just was, a, I was an all-American reject. I just sat in a corner and towed the wet sprock and talked to the usher wondering who was thank. This is ludicrous. I feel like an outcast. I want my 50 cent back. <laughs> just as I was about to accept my fate and realize I was never going to reach my vertical rise and see any pink, Uncle Cracker from Three Doors Down came in with the cure. Tonic with gin blossoms, M&Ms, and a little salt and pepper. And before you know it, my tool was Kid Rock ready to rage against the machine. And I was in Nirvana because I got to go home on a train stained. Did that happen to you too? That's all I got. Wow. Oh, right. yeah. I can remember that. Remember I said it not late. I babysit kids. So. There you go. Tonight, Hampton Fire Hall, Allison Park. Buzz not late. Saturday and Sunday, opening for John Heffron at the Improv. That's Thanks it for us. Time. Monday, Coach Mike Ditka on the show. Michelle wow. Michaels up next, DVE. That's tremendous.